Hello, greetings from EPG Partshala. In this module, we are going to talk about polyalphabetic ciphers. In the previous module, we have seen monoalphabetic ciphers. As its name suggests, poly means more than one substitution rule is applied during the construction of a cipher text. Then we are going to check the strength of the ciphers including one time paid Varnam cipher and Wigner cipher. Lastly, we will be talking about transposition techniques and then we will talk about steganography. First topic of discussion is homophonic substitution cipher. In this cipher, we will substitute more than one code for each character. Supposing character A can be replaced by 3, 5, 7, 13. Every time A occurs, it will have a new code. So on. So, if we take a case of B, it may be substituted with 4, 6, 8 and 10. So, the type of substitution avoids script analysis. So, it, there is no frequency analysis that can be done by script analyst. So, with the help of powerful computer, still this type of cipher can be cracked in few seconds. So, we need to work out on the ciphers which are more in strength. So, we will check about polyalphabetic cipher. It has two rules. Monoalphabetic substitutions are used, but the second rule is key decides that which monoalphabetic substitution is to be performed. To give you an example, we will start with Wigner cipher. How does a Wigner cipher work? So, P that is our plain text, it is having k characters. So, in the example, I have shown that it would be considered as P0, P1, P2, Pn minus 1, considering plain text is of n length. K is K0, K1, K2 up to Km minus 1 and the cipher text would be built is of the length of plain text. So, what you have to keep in mind that cipher text length is same as of the plain text length. How the encryption is performed? Encryption algorithm takes key and the plain text as an input. Key is K0, K1, K2 up to K minus M minus 1. So, key is of M length, P is of N length, P0, P1, P2 up to Pn minus 1. What is the rule? Add P0 to K0, P1 to K1, Pm minus 1 to Km minus 1. If the summation goes above 26, we need to do modulo 26. Now, here there is a question that key length is less than a plain text length, then what would happen? For example, my plain text is play P L A Y and key is bat B A T. So, plain text length is 4 and key length is 3. So, how the summation can be done? So, for that key is to be repeated. So, to make a key length of 4, we need to repeat the characters of the key itself. So, here we want to achieve the length of 4. So, we will repeat only one character that is B. So, the key form would be B A T B. The rest of the things clear, we need to add P to B, L to A, A to which character? T because B A T is our key and then Y would be again added to B because we have repeated the key. To achieve plain text from the cipher text, the formula is clear. We need to do C I minus K I mod M and modulo 26. This again we have the substitution rule need to be performed because we are using the arithmetic. So, all characters need to be converted to the numeric value. The formula remains the same A should be replaced by 0, B 1 so on and Z should be replaced by 25. Now, I am touching upon the Wigner cipher. So, Wigner cipher works in a way that key is a mask 
plain text is meet me at field the idea with which we started our discussion is key decides which substitution rule to be applied so this time my key is mask the numeric value corresponding to the mask is m 12 for m a would be substituted by 0 s 18 and k 10 plain text is meet me at field so m would be replaced by 12 e by 4 again we have a e so 4 and t would be replaced by 19 what we need to do is my plain text is length is greater than the key length so we need to repeat the key so again mask would be repeated till my plain text gets exhausted rest of the thing clear we need to add the key value to the plain text value to get the cipher text so key value 12 added to the plain text 12 that would give 24 what in the case if this summation goes above 25 then we need to do modulo 26 i think wigner cipher is easy to understand but if we evaluate the strength of the wigner cipher what is the strength key is repeated so if we get the same plain text key pair then we would get a land up in the same cipher text for the case meet me at field what have you observed that meet is once used with the mask but when we repeat the key again m the combination of m and m comes again so that kind of strength cannot be achieved through wigner cipher so the solution is auto key system what we want to overcome in this system the periodic nature of the keyword we want non repeating keyword so key should be as long as the plain text so key would be concatenated by the plain text to achieve randomness in a key and we will get the running key so key is mask as we have seen in the previous example now we are not repeating the mask but we are rep uh, appending the plain text with the key so my key would be mask meet me atf so that makes the full length as equal to the plain text now the simple formula add key to the plain text to achieve the cipher text rule goes the same if it is greater than 25 uh, you need to do modulo 26 arithmetic so in auto key system we repeated the plain text to get the running key next is a vernum cipher vernum cipher works on the binary data when i say binary data 101010 combination comes to your mind so what how the cipher text is achieved the bit of the plain text is exclusive or with a bit of the key so exclusive or operation is used here exclusive or operation is inverse of itself so if you want to get a plain text back out of cipher text you need to again do the exclusive or of the cipher text and the key then comes one time pad the key is used for the single message to encrypt and decrypt once the key is used it is discarded the summary is for each new message get a new key of the same length of the plain text such a scheme is called one time pad one time pad is considered to be unbreakable because there is no statistical relationship among plain text to the cipher text it includes spaces so total number of characters make 27 for example if the plain text is mr mustard key is p x l m v m s y d o the cipher text is a n k y o d k y u r what is the observation here key, key is of the same length as the plain text 
what we need to do is only summation of the key and the plain text character with their corresponding numeric values. Even though cryptanalyst can find keys and cannot decide which plain text is true and which key is correct. Is this cipher secure? Yes, this is secure, but there are certain difficulties involved with this cipher. Practically, it is very difficult to generate large number of random keys. The second point is, it is also difficult to distribute the key and protect them. Because for every message, equal length of key is to be sent to the sender and receiver. One time pad gives perfect secrecy, but it has limited use. It is used when there is required high security on a low bandwidth channel. Then comes the second form of sym symmetric cipher that is permutation technique, permutation of the plain text letters. First is rail fence cipher. If you want to encrypt through rail fence cipher with a depth of 2, you need to arrange your plain text message in two rows with alternating character in alternate rows. For example, all gather at loan. This is the plain text we want to encrypt through rail fence cipher. You put a in a first row, then the second character L in a second row, third character in the first row, fourth character in the second row, fifth in the first. Keep on repeating by writing characters in the alternate row. That makes a structure like fence. And when you want to put your encrypted message, first take all the characters in the first row, then all the characters in the second row. That makes your plain uh, cipher text. But still, cryptanalyst can break this because the structure involved is very easy to identify. So, we have another technique of transposition cipher that says permutation of plain text letters. It is a complex scheme. What it suggests? Write the message row by row and read column by column. Permutation is done in the order of the column. For example, look at my slide. The plain text is discuss the formula in meeting. So, we are given a plain text saying discuss the formula in meeting. We have a key called 3, 2, 1, 4. What I suggested? Write the plain text row by row. So, start our key length is of 4. So, we will have to put 4 columns and writing our plain text row by row. So, D I S C that makes 4 characters. So, you have to write now in the next row U S S T keep on writing all the characters of the plain text. Then what to do? Then to permute column by column, first take all the characters which are lying in the first column and write them horizontally. So, in our slide, we need to write all the characters, those are shown by first column S S F U N T X. Once you are done with the first column, take all the characters, those are lying in the second column, then in the third column and then in the fourth column. So, what have we achieved? We have put the characters in their new position. This is called permutation. Hmm. This type of transposition cipher is also not secure because the frequency of the letters are same as it was in the plain text character. So, cryptanalyst can put it in a matrix and play with the column position. So, to achieve more security, perform one more permutation. For example, 
in my slide what we have done is once again we have written a key 3, 2, 1, 4 and the cipher text which we achieved after the first round of permutation need to be arranged as explained. You write it in the horizontal manner up to the 4 columns then repeat them in the next rows and then take all the characters those are in the first column then second column then third column and then fourth column. So, we have done permutations two times that makes our cipher more complex for the cryptanalyst to break. For example, check the position of first three character discuss out of that the first three are D, I and S. So, they were at the 0, 1, 0, 2 and 0, 3 position after first permutation they are at 15, 0, 8 and 0, 1 position and after sur sur second permutation they are at 0, 4, 23 and 0, 8 position. So, after two permutation letters are shuffled such that cryptanalyst cannot find the structure. We have seen all the symmetric ciphers, now term that comes is steganography. Steganography is nothing but an art of hiding the plain text message. The simple thing is an arrangement of words or letters in the message can give a real message. For example, text drive on road open passage. What is hidden inside this sentence? Actually, we want to take the first letter of each word. So, it makes D R O P. So, in other words, if I if we want to say drop, we would write it like drive on road open passage. So, receiver would take the first character out of this sentence and build the word. Which are the steganography techniques? The first is character marking. Selected characters are overwritten in pencil and not visible unless it is hold in a right angle at the bright light. The second is invisible ink leave no visible trace until heat or some chemical is applied to the paper. Pin punctures pin punctures on selected letters not visible unless this paper is held in a light. So, these are the three techniques to achieve steganography. What is the advantage of steganography? It, it hide the secret communication, but disadvantage is lot of overhead if we want to transmit few bits of information. So, in this module we analyze the poly polyalphabetic ciphers, their strength and then we took permutation ciphers. Permutation if we achieve more permutation, we have a complex scheme that would lead us to a structure which is difficult for cryptanalysis to find the plain text, but more complex the system more time it takes to decrypt. Steganography is used to hide the characters and it is uh, right now also it is used widely. Thank you.